Hey guys, I'm TM Lanner. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Blender Cycles Render Intro. Alright, so yeah, it's going to be about blend. It's going to be a Blender Intro in Cycles Render Engine. So yeah, let's get to it. First step, you're going to do. You want you're going to want to delete everything, and I mean everything, including the camera. So yeah, once you deleted everything, this is what you're going to do. So I'm going to delete everything as well. I'm going to delete everything. You're gonna, you're gonna go shift s center shift a first thing you're gonna put you gonna put a camera so, uh when you put the camera you might want to be in uh, one of these modes you're gonna press three in the numpad it's either three or one depends on when you want the camera to be i like doing it on one because when you put the text it'll be it's technically the same so yeah camera's done you're gonna put the text I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees up. Alright, so yeah, that's done. I'm gonna put my name in. That's done. We're gonna go to text. Right here, we're gonna go here. You're gonna alignment. I'm gonna put it center because I love it. The offset will put Y a bit lower so it's in the center of the text. Yeah, three should be enough. We'll move it up a bit. That should do it. All right. Now we, I'm gonna. I like changing the font because this font is not that good looking. So I'm gonna go to desktop, my folder. Actually, no. I will. You need to go choose a font. There we go. Got this font now. Yeah. Next step, you wanna extrude it. I like. I'd say two point one. No, wait, point one actually. That's done. You're gonna go sh now. You're gonna make it a double layer. You're gonna shift D. You're gonna make the extrude of this one to 0.8. Oh, wait, no. You're gonna make it 0.08. There you go. You get this kind of thing. You're gonna make the depth 0 0.02. Make it like so it'll look like it has like it's one text. Alright, when that's done. Gonna go to camera, move it back, and there's our text. Now, a lot of people have trouble with making the materials. I have a bunch of materials you can use. Yeah, I'm just gonna make my own for now. Gonna go here, gonna add a new material. It's gonna be diffuse, so change it from diffuse to mix shader. Make the shader to emission so it has no noise and the shader you can use either glossy or diffuse i like using diffuse for the inside one i'm just gonna make it full bright and then the emission must always be fully white so it'll look like this uh don't mind the other text i'll change it later and then the this and then the second shader either a diffuse it's either gonna be a diffuse or a Glossy, you're gonna have to make it a bit gray. Depends on what color you depends on what color you're using. It's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go to the other one. Do the exact same. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm just gonna change this one into glossy. Let's see, glossy it's over here at the top. Right? Now once you render it, it's gonna look something like this. It doesn't look that good. Change this. Gonna make it. You're gonna add, you're gonna have to add something to this. Click this button over here, right next to fact. Point five zero zero. You can click it. You're gonna look for for seno. No no no. You're wrong. You're gonna look for layer weight under it. You're gonna see for seno and facing. Choose facing. Change it to point nine. And then you're gonna go here. If you're using a glossy one, you're gonna have to change it to facing. You have to make the blend to two point uh po ah, no wrong. Sorry about that. Two no no point nine nine nine. So or you can just make it go down actually. No no. Point nine it's not gonna work. Point nine nine, yeah that that should do it. Yeah, it's gonna look like this. It ain't that bad actually, but I'd like I'd rather give the outside a color. Green color. Run it, it'll have a look like like that. 
make this to 0.9999 so it'll have some balance oh wait no that's wrong 0.5 actually let's check how it looks looks good actually all right that's done there goes your text and here we're gonna yeah that's good enough all right that's done now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to video editing go over here and you put a song in it doesn't matter what song you put in I can't do really, that doesn't really matter. So yeah, I'm gonna put a song, I put sound on mp3. You guys might be asking what this song is, but I have no idea, I just got it from, got it from a guy. I know we're right. So yeah, once that's done, you put the song, you're done. I'm gonna run it once. You can hear it now. Yep, yep, there you go. That's done, you're gonna go, since this is cycles, you can't really put a background on it, so gonna go to world you're gonna go to scene or whatever this thing is cat go to the thing with the camera picture go down the film click on transparent once you render it you have no background and yeah that's done you have no background once that's done you're gonna leave it we will add a background eventually like the preview you once saw All right once that's done you're gonna look at this carefully you're gonna play the video your mouse has to be in the Timeline over here. You're gonna press M whenever you at the movement you want to do. So watch this. I'm done with that. But I'm not gonna make too much movement. Next, last one. All right. Once you've done that. This is the most important thing. You're gonna go to the play button. Go beside it. You're gonna see no sync. Click it. Either change it to I AV sync or frame dropping. AV sync is much more better because I actually sync it with the music. So once you once you're done with that, you're gonna you're gonna go shift S again. Cursor to center. Shift A. Wait, no, no, shift A. You're gonna go to empty. Click on a plane axis. That adds a plain access so yeah now we're gonna click on right click on the camera then shift right click on the plane control P object yeah you must do it in this order camera to plane if not then once we move the camera the plane will also move so once that's done you're gonna make the camera you're gonna make the camera you're not gonna touch the camera anymore right that's finished last well not the last time that's the second last this is one of the last times you're going to touch the camera. Once you've done that, just click I. Actually, no. Go down here. Click. Choose lot, Lock Rod Scale. Press I. Done. That's the last time you're going to be touching, touching that camera. Then you're going to go here. You're going to sync it with the beat. I'm going to make it like somewhere. I like making it very close to the text up first. Press I. Or you can just do this so it'll automatically... Lock. You can go to your first marker. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna make it 10, 2, 2, something like that. So once you go down, look like that. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it somewhere here so it has some movement, some real movement. So check it out. This is where the uh, hard part is. Once you go here, I'm gonna make this go down quite a lot like here so you can see it goes down once that's done you're gonna go to the other marker you're gonna move it move it somewhere scale it a bit down so you can see slow movement this is a this is a chill intro by the way so don't expect a bunch of movement there's not gonna be that much movement here but yeah, there can be a lot of shaky movements. So yeah, uh, be back. So I'll just speed things up for a while.
Uh, okay, so I made a big mistake there. Yeah, this is a mistake. Tell him to be quiet. Alright. Uh, this part, okay, there's a mistake here. Press the button. There you go. Over here, we're gonna make it zoom out because it's the ending. Well, not really the ending. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you? Stop the video. Okay, go up. Gonna do something like this so it's gonna look like this. And that is the, that's it for the uh, timeline, for the movement. This is a chill intro by the way, and I will, uh... alright, that's done, let's see this part, yep, that's done, now, I'm gonna put some kind of movement on the camera, we're gonna go to video editing, okay, I'm gonna go somewhere here. I'm gonna go here. Swim. Go for X Euler rotation and just do whatever I do. Please be quiet. Can you guys please, please be quiet? I'm begging you. I'll give you something in the end, okay? Just please be quiet. Or can you also close the door? You gotta be quiet right now. Alright, if you followed my steps correctly, you'd get something that looks like this. As you can see, the camera moves in a shaky way. And that is technically job well done. Now all we need to do is... Uh... Wow, that looks so good. All right. Awesome, ugly! Alright, that's done. Let's need to make this. I'm gonna make it perfect. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna... right. That's done. Right, once that's done, you're gonna. Can you please be quiet, guys? Alright, so yeah, the best uh, thing, the best FPS for an intro is either 30 or 60. I used 30, so it won't take that long. See, it's a very fast rendering thing. So yeah, once that's done, you can you go up here, you're gonna see scene. Beside it, there's a plus sign. Click it. Choose full copy. Get out. Delete the text. Delete it. Done. And we're just left with the movement. Now, I would just make a new, make a, a blank copy. Or like... Now, you, some people would just do add a copy and just copy the settings to the new scene, but I don't do that. I just do a full copy, delete everything I don't need because, yeah, so yeah, first. So the next thing you do is gonna go to cycles render, change it to blender render. This will make it. Now, this will. Uh, this will make it. This will allow you to 
Let's put the back on. Are you gonna go to World over here? I'm gonna look, turn on Blend Sky. I'm gonna make it a greenish one. I'm gonna make it kind of greenish. So first of all, this one must always be a black, a, a very very dark color. Must always be 100%. Must be. And then this one, I'm just gonna make it green. As you can see, you get this look. Yeah, but that's not done yet. In the in the uh, preview, you saw a cloudy background, and that is actually pretty easy to make. If you got a guts to do it. So yeah, now once you do this, you're gonna, without touching anything else. You go to texture. If you did touch anything else, it would ha it would look like this. If you added it, it would like be here. So in the text in the texture tab, you're gonna go to world, add a new texture, and then change image or movie into clouds. Give you this cloudy texture. I'm gonna click on into world so it shows you the one we're gonna see. So yeah, and then you're gonna to click it. The real sky looks like this. So once you render it. Look here, it's a bit too big, so let's uh, can make it to point 0.1, makes it look like this, or point 0.01. At least, no, that's too much. Yeah, that is way too much. Point 0.05. Yeah, that should do it. That should do it. All right. All right. Once that's done. All right. All right, that's done. That's done. We're gonna add some of the stars you saw in the preview. All right. So yeah. First of all, you're gonna shift A. We're gonna go to mesh. We're gonna choose a plane. There are two ways to do this. There's two things you can use for doing this. You can either use a fluid simulation, or you can maze use a dis a displace modifier. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna use the ocean one for this. This is also known as the trap code. It's not that hard to use this. So yeah, once you have it, you're gonna go new. You're gonna make it, oh, make it hollow. Change this thing to hollow. We're gonna click this, make the color super white. We're gonna get this wavy kind of thing. Alright, so yeah, once you do that, you're gonna go here. We're gonna increase the scale so it looks... Bouncy kind of like this. You can make it like this so it looks. So it looks like that. Yeah, you're gonna see these big things. You're gonna go to the material option. You're gonna change the size to point zero something. Do not put it above point zero eight because it'll look very bad. So I like using point zero three. So it looks like this. I'm gonna change the color to green. You can also add some star tips. Make it like this. Go like this. Alright, and uh, when that's done, you're gonna, it's gonna look like this. That's how the stars are gonna look like. Or whatever you are. Once that's done, I'm gonna. gonna. I'm gonna go here, we're gonna increase the resolution so more things are there. Oh my god. Yeah, so technically that's how it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like this. It's originally like that. So once you go to material, we're gonna change the surface. Yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. It looks like a viney cage. But, sorry, can you guys do that? Alright, so yeah, once we go here, we render it, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna increase the size to 0 0.05 so for those far away ones can be seen. So we play it. It's the starting thing will look like this. Check it out. Alright, that's done. Yep. And yeah, there's also another one you can use with this ocean one. Instead of that. Gonna Click on scale of the wave and turn this off. So, yeah, can, so it either can be that or you can make like duplicates of this one. You can either make that or duplicates of this one. Just shift D it, 
but we're not gonna do that. And stay with this one. And once that's done, you're seventy-five percent done in creating your intro. So once that's done, we're gonna go back to scene. You click this uh, thing with shapes and the sun. You can go to scene. So this is, gonna, this is the first one. I just need to combine those two things together, which is very easy. So now we're gonna go for in this thing. There's like a layout thing. We're gonna click on compositing. You're gonna get. You're gonna bring it here. We're gonna render it. You're gonna give us this look. Starting how it looks. Click on nodes. Use nodes. Actually, no. We're gonna make it a bit more here. So just look at the bottom of the edge. It's gonna look like here. We're gonna shift A. Or you can just click on the render layers, shift D, duplicate it, click and switch to B background or whatever you name, renamed it to. Alright, move this back, shift A, we're gonna put on we're gonna go to colors, click on alpha over, put it there. Here's the tricky part. Some people forget to do this. The background on top of the image. So it looks like here. Yeah, this is why we put the uh, film to transparent so you can allow the background to come in because you can't put those uh, you can't put hollows in cycles sadly so yeah once that's done it looks like this but it does not look that good now i'm gonna teach you guys i'm gonna show you guys something about something called sunbeams so we're gonna, we're gonna move that there we're gonna duplicate alpha over shift a go for go for to colors we're gonna go wait no no we're gonna filter go for sunbeams Connect this to the bottom. Just do some connecting. Okay. Once it's done, we're gonna connect this to the composite. This is the main thing. Whatever you do, do not make a broken chain. So if you lose one, just one of these, the whole thing might go wrong. All right. Once it's done, I'm gonna increase the ray length. It looks like this. Now this 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 looks a bit dull. So shift A, put in a gamma node put it there decrease it so you can get a lighter one shift d on this thing oh my god all right uh i'll be right back okay that was uh that was an annoying phone call so yeah all right i'm gonna just gonna put it here write this down here because it just looks a bit too bright so i'm gonna here i'm gonna increase it so the background still looks dark, but then the text looks brighter. You can either do this, but I would rather just go here, duplicate this, put it here. Oh man, I hate these phone calls. I really hate these phone calls. So yeah, once it's done, oh man, this is a bit too big. Point 0.1, or like point zero 0.05 actually. Yeah, that should do it. So once you, if you put it here, you might want to do a little changing with this thing, doesn't really actually, it actually matters, but 0 0.01, this should be the perfect one. Wait, what did I just do that? Oh well. You're gonna get this thing, you can either do that, or you could do a much more complex one, which I normally use. Color. I'm gonna go filter, I'm gonna go blur. I'm gonna go for fast Gaussian, relative, shift A, mix node. I'm gonna use it to add, put it here, make, put this here, put this here, add the final thing over here, I'm gonna get it shiny, so we're gonna make it 0.5, so it's gonna be like half half, and that's how you make a proper glow, and you can make it two, make it small number so it's strong, you can see you get it like that. And technically it's done, but I like adding something called, you're gonna go shift A, you could go for color, you can go for color balance, you go for color balance, now you're gonna connect it to the text part, now this stuff I could just, I'm just gonna work with this for now, come here, over here, go here, yeah gonna you could fiddle with this stuff which I am about to do so see you later so see you in a few
Yeah, that did not turn out very well. So, technically, it's finished. So, I'm just gonna go here. I can send you guys about. I can, I'll send you guys this. I can. I'll give you guys this uh, temp as a template. The download link will be in the description. So yeah, now what you're gonna need to do? Go over here. Click on PNG. Change it either to XVID. You can choose any of them. I like using XVID. Gonna go to audio codec, choose MP3, and then choose the output to whatever you're gonna put in. Yep, that's done. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go Control F12. All right, and then you're technically done. All right, I'll see ya. There is one more part to this video if you are willing to watch it. It is not that nece it's not necessary, but if you do, you can watch it. So yeah, see ya. I love